Okay, so let's see if we can apply this technique to a new example. x squared plus 9x plus 20 equals 0. It's going to be crossing your fingers and seeing things happen to work out because what I need to do is figure out if this comes from a rectangle. And it'll be, if it is, the rectangle of area 0, and I'm in that special case that I know either the top side is 0 or the left side is 0. Well, this, the, one of the sides is 0. All right, that's lucky. Are these numbers nice enough for me to be able to guess if it's coming from a rectangle or not? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my best logical thinking here to see if I can make this work out. I'm crossing my fingers because there's no guarantee this will work out. Got that? No guarantee it will work out. But here goes. All right, I'll draw a rectangle. I know it's going to come from various pieces like I did before, like an x plus something and x plus something, in which case this will be x squared. Oh, I actually I've got to be careful here because it seems natural. I've got this area of x squared that's going to come from x times x. But actually, that's not clear because it could come from 2x and a half x because that would multiply to be x squared. Or it could come from, say, 3x and a third x. We don't actually know what these could be because we're not doing the symmetry story anymore. So it could be something unsymmetrical. But, but, as a first guess, as a first guess, these are guesses, it seems logical to stick with the simplest thing, x times x, for now. Okay, we'll try that. If it doesn't work out, we'll either stop and go back to our standard methods or try something else. Okay, area x squared. There's going to be an area of 20 somewhere, okay, down here, probably in the corner, how we set things up. So I've got those two pieces, but I don't know what numbers I should put here. What times what equals 20? Maybe 4 times 5, 2 times 10, negative 2 times negative 10, 1 times 20. There's lots of choices. But I don't know what numbers to write, so let me just write general numbers for right now. Let's just do so. I'm going to have P and a Q. So what must be true about P and a Q? Well, uh, oh, there'll be extra area. For example, this area would be PX, and this area would be X times Q. That'd be QX. So we've got this picture here that's trying to have area x squared, got it, area 20, got it, and area 9x, and I've got a px and a qx. Oh, oh, so that's x squared. That together should be 9x's, px and qx makes 9x, and I've got the 20. All right, so what do I need to be true? I need px plus qx to be 9x. I need p plus q to add up to 9. I also need p times q to be 20 p times q to be 20. So I need to play with those equations. Two numbers whose sum, who sum to 9 and whose product is 20. And actually, we know from the last video, that is actually the problem I did at the very beginning of the puzzle. This doesn't always have answers. So we're crossing our fingers. We're just crossing our fingers. This game of factoring is just like trying to do our best guesses and see what happens. But can you think of two factors of 20 that add up to 9? Well, yeah, 4 and 5. 4 plus 5 is 9, 4 times 5 is 20. All right, so things are looking good. We're making good guesses here. Well, the trouble is, I don't know, should it be 4 and 5, or should it be 5 and 4? I don't know. Let's just try one. If it doesn't work out, we'll try the other one. If it doesn't work out, we'll go back to this method. All right, so let's try you know, 4 and 5. In which case, whoops, let's be neat. Uh, 4x will be here, 4 times x. Uh, 5 times x will be here. Yes, that's 9x. 4 times 5 is 20. It's working out. So that tells me this quadratic I can see as a, as a rectangle. It's an x plus 4 by x plus 5 rectangle and its area is 0, in which case I know I'm really dealing with x plus 4 times x plus 5 is 0. So either this length is 0, so x plus 4 is 0, or this length here is 0, x plus 5 is 0. That implies x is negative 4 or x is negative 5. Woo. Sorry, scrawly writing there, but hope you can still see it. x equals negative 4, x equals negative 5 should be the solutions to this quadratic equation. Well, let's check. I'll just check it. Why not? x equals negative 4. Negative 4 squared, 16. Uh, 9 times negative 4. Uh, negative 36. So 16 and 20 is 36. Take away 36 is 0. Bingo. Negative 4 is a solution. Negative 5. Negative 5 squared is 25, plus 20 makes 45, and then 9 times negative 5 is negative 45. 45, take away 45, is 0. Bingo. We've got the solutions. All right, so that's the nature of the game. Make a big best guess for x squared. That's probably x times x. If it, if it doesn't work out, you can adjust that and be unsymmetrical. Then fill in the next pieces and then choose some numbers p and q and see what needs to be true and cross your fingers that you can figure it out. 
If you can't, don't worry because this is the actual story of quadratics. This is the best way to solve them. It will always work. This is just relying on luck and clever guesses. But it's actually kind of fun. Okay, let's do this practice problem together. Let's solve x squared minus 8x plus 12 equals 0 by three different methods. We'll use the symmetrical quadris method, we'll use the quadratic equation, and then we'll try being unsymmetrical by doing factoring. So let's do all three just to practice them all. All right, so let me first do symmetry. Here's my symmetry method. That is, I'm actually going to go for a square. I'm going to make sure I have a square. In fact, I will make sure I have a square. Let me start by drawing a square. And what we did before is we're going to have an x squared piece, and we said we want to make sure it's symmetrical, so we'll make this x times x. Keep it symmetrical. Negative 8x must come from here and here. Keep it symmetrical. Negative 4x, negative 4x. Something times x makes negative 4x, negative 4. Something times x makes negative 4x, negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 means this piece better be 16. I don't have 16, I have 12. Not to worry, we'll make it 16. So this is going to be, uh, I'll add 4 and I'll add 4. So I have x squared, whoops, minus 8x plus 16 equals 4. Great. And then what is all this? It's this square. x squared minus 8x plus 16 is x minus 4 by x minus 4 as a square. Is 4. Something squared is 4. x minus 4 is 2 or negative 2. And add 4. x is 6 or 2. Beautiful. That's the standard method I like using the quadrus method using symmetry. So by symmetry, I see that x is 2 or x is 6. Great. All right, let's solve it again. Let's now solve it with the quadratic formula. If you've got this in your head, sure. If you want to be fast, it's probably faster. Okay, it's faster, but no big deal. A is 1, B is negative 8, C is 12, and it does equal 0. Remember, the quadratic formula wants equal 0. All right, so then, X must be negative B, negative, negative 8, plus or minus the square root of B squared. B squared, negative 8 squared is 64. Take away 4 times 1 times 12. Uh, 4 times 12 is 48. Take away 48. All divided by twice the number in the front. 2 times 1 is 2. All right, great. Um, under the square root, 64 minus 48. Terrible handwriting, sorry. Uh, that's 16. Oh, 8 plus or minus the square root of 16, all divided by 2. So this is 8 plus or minus the square root of 16 is 4, divided by 2. So this is either 12 over 2, or it's 8 over 4. 4 over 2 is either 6 or 2. Bingo. Great, great. So that's with the quadratic formula. Now, let's practice the factoring technique, the one we've just done. Let's actually do the third way, and this time I'm going to ignore symmetry. No symmetry, but I have to cross my fingers and see if it's going to work out. And obviously, since I put this on the board, it is going to work out. I obviously want one to practice on, but they don't always work out. Watch out. Okay, here goes, here goes. So let's now be unsymmetrical. So unsymmetrical. So we're being unsymmetrical, I'm going to say, okay, I'm willing to now go with a rectangle of area zero. Now there are going to be pieces again. The one piece is x squared. Now, if I'm not going to be symmetrical, this could be anything, 17x and 1 17th x. But a first good guess is just try x and x, x and x, a first good guess. Done. Um, 12, there's going to be some numbers here to give me an area of 12. But the trouble is I don't know what the numbers should be, p, q. We'll do that for now. In which case, this piece will be p times x, and this piece will be q times x. So I've got x squared, there it is. These have to add up to px and qx have to add up to negative 8x, and this 12 is 12, which I've got. So what's that telling about the numbers p and q? Well, we see that px plus qx makes negative 8x, so p plus q must be negative 8. Okay, at the same time, p times q must be 12. p times q must be 12. So now we have to think. Are there a pair of numbers such that p plus q equals negative 8 and p times q equals 12? In fact, are they nice numbers? Are they numbers I can recognize? You have to think about this for a while. Just play with numbers in your head. What are the factors of 12? Maybe it's 2 and 6. No, 2 plus 6 adds up to positive 8. Oh, oh! Negative 2 and negative 6. Negative 2 times negative 6 is 12. Negative 2 plus negative 6 is negative 8. They must be negative 2 and negative 6. Except the trouble is, I don't know which order. I'll just choose one and we'll cross our fingers and see if it works. I'll choose negative 2 and negative 6. In which case, negative 2 is negative 12, 6 is negative 12. 
Negative 2x, negative 6x, yes, it works. Negative 8x. So I now know that I can think of this as an unsymmetrical rectangle with area 0. It's really x minus 2 times x minus 6 being 0. So there is a non-symmetrical representation of my quadratic equation of area 0, in which case either this piece is 0, x minus 2 is 0, or this piece is 0. Whoops, x minus 6, x minus 6 is 0. Alright, but that tells me x is 2 or x is 6. And I believe that's what we had before. This one lucked out. Alright, speedy and me, messy, you should be much neater than me. I'm not very neat. I'm sorry. Okay, be neater than me, but there it is. You can choose any method you like to solve a quadratic. Be symmetrical, make sure you have squares. Or just use the formula. If that's your style, use the formula. Or be unsymmetrical, cross your fingers and hope it works out. Okay, so now time for some practice for you. Okay, here's a practice problem for you. Please solve the following four quadratic equations by using the unsymmetrical technique of factoring. The first one is x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Can you draw an unsymmetrical rectangle of area 0 to solve that one? x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0. Can you draw me an unsymmetrical rectangle whose area is 0 to solve that one? Here's one's a little more complicated. It's x squared plus 2xt minus 15t squared equals 0. So the numbers have got some t's in it. So the number in front of x here is 2t. The number c here is negative 15t squared. So can you still do it, even if the numbers are starting to look a little more like algebra, there's another symbol t in there. Can you actually still draw me an unsymmetrical rectangle of area 0 that solves that equation? And then please, please, actually get to part d. Please solve x squared minus 7x plus 103 equals 0 by drawing an unsymmetrical rectangle for it. Can you do it? So try these four, and uh, you might have to pause the video to have enough time to do it, so feel free to pause the video. Okay, did you do part D? Because you'll realize part D you cannot solve easily with factoring. You need to find factors of 103 that add up to negative 7 and your brain just hurts. This factoring technique only works in special circumstances and often won't work. If the numbers aren't friendly, good luck to you. It'll be very hard to do factoring if factoring even works at all. So I want to make that point. Factoring is about luck. You have to be lucky when you're doing the factoring technique because it's unsymmetrical. The story of quadratics is really about symmetry, so we're trying to do something that doesn't fit the story really, but we can luck out sometimes, but only sometimes. So part D hopefully was illuminating. Factoring does not always work.